Hey, Brent Porcy at topvelocity.net. You know, the pitch analysis here, Slade, pair them up with Bob Wheatley. So take them both out of leg lifts. Okay. You can see Bob's keeping, they're both leading with the hip, but Bob's keeping his trunk a little bit more vertical as he falls forward and down at the same rate. Slade, you're leaning back a little too hard. So when you get into that position where you're ready to drive, okay, you're you're not going to have as much momentum as, as Bob has. So staying neutral, focusing on counter rotation as you really feel a lot of momentum picking up, coming out of your leg lift is the key. Something that you'll do better as you develop more strength and, and speed and power, basically more athleticism. From here, you can see Bob, as he opens up, he's able to drive and propel from this linear back leg position. Your back leg position isn't too bad. It's just as you open up, you, you more rotate. So we just see it turning down. You can see the heel popping up. If you watch Bob, you can see extension. The, actually, the ankle kicking through and the hips driving open at landing. So when we get you at landing right here, you can see your trunk is a lot more open at this position. So that's the difference between just rotating backside and, and driving backside is a lot of times in rotation, you don't get a lot of power through your hip. You don't get a lot of accelerated momentum. So what happens is your glove starts pulling early to help continue to accelerate the throw. Bob, because he has a lot of momentum, a lot of propulsion, he can delay the trunk and allow that to peak and then transfer it through the trunk. So then he gets a later release more time to push and accelerate the energy up the kinetic chain. So you can see here, Bob has a little bit more extended front leg, has a, uh, probably a little bit more forward trunk tilt, and all the way to release, okay? And, it, and he's also a bigger guy. So if you're trying to, so Bob's here in the 90s, if you're trying to get to 90, Bob's about 230, 225, 235, 6'4". So this is a bigger guy. So you can see he's moving faster, more momentum, more triple extension drive out of the back leg, more hit to shoulder separation, more front leg extension. All these are key components of a high velocity pitcher that he's doing a lot better than you at a bigger size. So you'd have to be doing it better than him if you want to throw harder than him at your size. So we got to get bigger, stronger, faster, but we got to get these key things going, like learning how to get more propulsion through the back leg drive or triple extension and then that should help your trunk stay closed longer and then that should give you more energy in your trunk and then you can even get more front leg drive or front leg extension and that's going to be a big difference in your velocity making an ex a significant enhancement in your overall velocity